In this video, a list of the things you definitely should do when going on holiday to Menorca. In this video, I want to focus on the things I would advise to most people going on holiday here. I also have specific tips for adults only or family holidays or traveling with small children on my website if you want to have more information. But as I said, in this video, I focus on the things that apply to pretty much everyone. I would advise everyone to do when going on holiday here. So the Montaña del Toro is definitely one of these places I would advise you to go and have a look. From here you have an overview of the entire island, so it's a really good way to get an understanding of where everything is. So maybe this is best to do on your first day when you just arrive, especially if you have a rental car. Just drive up here, it doesn't take much time, but you really get an understanding of where all the resorts are, where all the attractions are, and a little bit where you are yourself on the island as well. So definitely it's a free place, there's also a chapel up here, you can go and have a look there's like a little bar um, there's also other things to do but just to get an overview of the island this is a great place to visit one of the most unique experiences on the island, I think, has to be the Cova Don Charrois. Um, these caves overlooking the sea from the cliff tops can be enjoyed in the daytime with a chill drink, but you can also go there in the nighttime, where it's more like a nightclub vibe, and this might actually be the best night out on the island if you're looking to go clubbing and partying. This is a great destination in the night. So Citadella and Mahon, should you visit these places in Menorca? Well, it depends a little bit on what you want, but if you really want to get a feel for the island and experience some of the local culture, then yes, Citadella used to be the capital, but Mahon is the capital of Menorca at this moment. So both have some uh, ancient historic buildings, there's markets and great places to eat. My advice would just be to go to the one that's closest to you, or if you're passing any of these cities on your way, just stop there. But don't necessarily, if you're staying on one side of the island, drive all the way to the other side of the island just to see Mahon. In my opinion, it's not worth it. If you're really into culture, it might be worth it. But uh, just go to the one that's closest to you. I think that will be the best fit for most people. So one thing I always see popping up in the comments of these kind of videos is always about tapas. Um, where do you really eat great tapas? Well, most of the restaurants, if you look in the street, they will claim that they have the best and most traditional tapas, but it's not really the case. Uh, one place I did, know, I do know on uh, Menorca is to go to uh, Mahon. Uh, here in the local fish market, the Mercat des Peiks in Mahon, there you really have a great offer of local tapas so if you really want to try some traditional and authentic tapas in Mahon in the local fish market there you can have the best fish and the best tapas real authentic Spanish tapas if you want to try them so one of the places I do want to advise you, even though I haven't been there myself, is the Son Marto, it's hard to pronounce, the Son Marto Relet, Relet, that has to be because it's Spanish, Son Marto Relet, um, equestrian show, so horse show. Um, I haven't been there myself, just as a quick disclaimer, but I heard so many people say good things about it, especially when they went to visit with like younger children or up to like 12, 14 years old. They have a really good time here. So for this reason, I still want to include it in this video that you should go and have a look there if you have younger children, especially. There's lots of water sports to do in Menorca. You see quite a few people practicing the pedaling, the standing up on a surfboard and going around like this. Uh, but one of the more popular things even here to, is to do to rent a kayak. It's quite easy actually, even if you've never done it before, it's quite easy to get around. You get the hang of it pretty fast. Um, you can go on organized excursions or you can go by yourself. And it's really a great way since there's not so many coastal roads in Menorca. If you want to explore a little bit of the coastline, but as I mentioned, if you feel a bit uncomfortable going by yourself you can always go on an organized tour and the guides will really take you to the places that are really nice so uh, go on one of the tours but definitely there's a lot of different tour options read the reviews before online to make sure that you're going on a good tour where you will go and see nice places so this is a little bit of a weird tip, I kind of know, but I just picked this uh, drink up off the shelf because it looked interesting by accident, but kept buying it for the rest of my stay here. Uh, I think this is something typical Spanish or from Menorca, but it was so good 
I just kind of like had to include it in this video. I would definitely advise you to try it as well when you're on Menorca. Uh, your perfect summer beach drink for your holiday in Menorca. Uh, this is the Fonter Lime and Lemon. And no, this is not sponsored. No one is paying me to say this or include this in here. It's just, it's really good drink, really refreshing, really ideal for on the beach. So give it a try. Know that you can find the full list of things to do and not to, as well as the companies I would advise you to book them at on my website, or you can have a look at any of these other videos of mine where I give more holiday advice.